Okay guys, so this is what happened. She accidentally slammed this nail in her car door. Thankfully, she was able to get it out real quick, but she did, in fact, crack her, her acrylic nail and her natural nail along with it. So this happened last night. So what I did was I immediately put a, uh, there was no bleeding, so I put a little tiny drop of glue to seal it and then I used thymolized solution and put a drop last night as well as this morning and already she said it was feeling much better it didn't hurt um, it wasn't numb or anything like that so here I'm using uh, a very coarse bit but very very light uh, like feathering touches just to take off what um, design I have on there so I can see the damage and take a look at what we're going to be working with. Now if you look closely you do see that line straight across and it basically looks like an air pocket straight across because I did um, seal it and it's holding it together so it's not loose and it's not painful for her. She said it just felt kind of funny and that's basically what it feels like um, when you seal a broken uh, natural nail it'll feel different it'll feel funny but thankfully it's not so high up close to the cuticle um, that it's giving much pain so um, I show you again here I just now open up the pocket there you can see I'm testing it out to see if it's wiggling at all I mean it doesn't it doesn't move at all it's uh, not um, opening up completely which is good uh, there's no bleeding there's no nothing like that it just looks like an air pocket right now So here's an up close look of the break. You do see a white line straight across and the light layers you see, that is not her natural nail, that's uh, just the glue holding it. Now I'm showing you here, my mom tends to get air pockets right in that same location. So she could have had a small tiny air pocket and with the impact it could have, um, you know, made that uh, air pocket just um, open up and release and in turn um, just the pressure of it all uh, slamming it in the door, it could have... Uh, cause the break as well um, but yeah she tends to get her air pockets right in that location that's what I've been noticing so I try to stay on top every time I do a fill I'm always taking out her air pockets and making sure she doesn't have any signs of those because we don't want to damage her natural nail but it's already feeling much better she was happy to have that opened up so I'm just gonna spray it up with alcohol and prep it for application on a side note, just to uh, remind you guys, if your break is really bad, if it's bloody, if it's really damaged, you might have to just remove the acrylic and let that um, grow out on its own without putting the overlay. But because we had no bleeding and it was uh, not a serious um, injury, we were able to reapply the acrylic with no issues. 
Um, I've done this uh, for myself many years ago when I used to have these issues. Um, I haven't done had any injuries like this for a very long time, and she's never had an injury like this. So um, I just want to share with you guys how I would um, fix it. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, watching how we repaired this nail.